It is May and it's Mental Health Awareness Month. Happy Mental Health Awareness Month, everybody. This is the Libra Man coming at you. You know, healthcare workers seamlessly and effortlessly take care of others. But it's sometimes them who needs the support from others around them. Maybe it be their regular co-workers or peers or administration. Sometimes what they need and their lack of goes unnoticed. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Because I'm happy to be in the healthcare field myself. And I see it on a regular basis. So I'm talking from experience. Hospitals, nursing homes, day programs, all these kind of places are geared to support the individuals that are serviced in these programs. And our goal is to try to reduce the stigma that behavioral health care centers have of they don't do nothing for people, they just want a paycheck, they don't take care of my loved ones. We're trying to get rid of that stigma because there actually are some genuine people that care about people in healthcare. So we're going to discuss some of the stressors that come along with working in healthcare and some of the ways that we can identify when we see this so that we or others can get the help that they need. A lot of times the fears associated with the stigma that comes along with working in behavioral health care and reporting if you feel like you need to help is the possibility of like losing your license or something of that nature. So a lot of times that could have a lot to do with if a person that feels like they need help reported or not. But healthcare workers will seek out services that they need if it's a more behind the scenes type or an agency or somewhere off site that they can get the help that they need and things outside of going straight up to their director of nursing or somebody saying, hey, I'm, I need help. A lot of times in healthcare, they would prefer it to be anonymous. Definitely don't want to get the help that they need at the place that they're working at. I'm not talking about from their direct work. I'm talking about if I worked at an agency and I saw a therapist at that same agency, that would definitely be a conflict of interest and something that I know I wouldn't be interested in doing. The stress of a healthcare worker can also lead to things like depression, anxiety, and yes, even suicide. There have been healthcare workers, especially during COVID, that actually took their lives because of the stress that was coming along with everything they had to do during that period of time. An unbelievable amount of pressure and stress that I couldn't possibly fathom. Watching people die on a daily basis, watching people go to respiratory care and being on a ventilator and all of those things is just something that a lot of healthcare workers weren't able to deal with. And God bless the ones that were able to do that and make it through that situation. Workers can also have stressors that are emotionally stressed and draining that when not addressed can definitely lead to a lack of taking care of your mental health and mental well-being. It's hard to take care of other people's mental health and mental well-being as a healthcare worker if you're not taking care of yours first. So we should always be aware of our co-workers and how they and ourselves respond to stressful situations. During those stressful situations, sometimes that's when you can really see the level of where somebody is in terms of their mental capacity and their self-care and things of that nature. And you can see the help that they need during those times. It's easy for everybody to walk around with a smile on their face and, you know, happy, joyous, and free when nothing's going on. But it's through those kind of situations that you can definitely see where a person needs work and help, even yourself. Sometimes it's us that will actually have to look at ourselves to get the help that we need. So this video is not just about other people. It's about me taking a look at myself also. I can't ask nobody else to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. We must be aware of depression, anxiety, and suicidal 
situations at all times. Because the same thing that another person will go in their room and close the door on and just stay in their thoughts, another person might go in that room and start slicing at their wrist. So we can't take anything for granted in this field. We have to make sure that we take care of ourselves so we can take care of others. We have to know when we are stressed out. Physically, mentally, emotionally, all those things. Stress comes with all of those. And we must be able to get the stressors out of our bodies on a daily basis and not continue to have stress from five, six weeks ago still in our pockets today. Like I said, for some, the thought of somebody committing suicide or doing something to themselves because of stressors is far-fetched. For others, they have seen the harsh reality of it, and they have came back to work and had to shed tears and cry about a co-worker that was there just the day before, and the week before, and the month before, but that's not there that day. It can happen, people. And on Mental Health Awareness Month, we have to be more aware of things that have to do with our mental health this month so we can continue that process throughout the year. We don't just need to be aware in May. We need to be aware all the times. This is just an acknowledgement of the fact that we need to be aware and emphasizing it this month. We must be vigilant about our mental health and our mental well-being and also be mindful of our co-workers as well because at the end of the day, no one is always okay. If you like anything I said in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. I think this month we're going to focus more on mental health. So this month will be videos of nothing but mental health. I'll get back to the recovery and the self-care next month. Although I will tie in some self-care and recovery to this mental health awareness month. But my main topic will be about mental health. Till the next time, the Libra Man is out.